everybody, and welcome to Dishonor on Your Cow. My name is Dis Simone, and this is George, and this is where we watch movies and television. Okay, so trading places. So in the comment section of our Coming to America video, oh, okay. a lot of people said that the two homeless guys in that movie is referencing this movie. Oh, so if they're like the homeless guys, does that mean that the that they're trading places with people who aren't homeless, and then they are like... Well, so it's an interesting poster. Their poster is... Uh, Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy hugging each other and they have like they're holding wads of cash and they have money in their pockets they, okay. they rich and then it says trading places and the logo for the word trading places the words mm -hmm. even looks like the the print the font on like um, American uh, money the tagline there seems to be two mm -hmm. on the poster one says they're not just getting rich they're getting even and then the other one is some very funny business is it like a um, rich person poor person trading places that's my guess. But the poster's two guys with money. They both have a lot of money. I have no idea. Let's Might watch, watch the movie. Um, but before we press play like we do sometimes, a uh, quick reminder that if you're not subscribed, please do, because we're almost at 100,000, and that's super exciting, and yay. Yeah, you should do it, because Simone actually remember to do this bit immediately, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's an achievement. I just winked at the camera. I feel gross. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Dude. Okay, I wonder if people who are that rich, would they still do it if it's raining or snowing or, you like, know what I mean? Or they, windy or cold. Right, yeah. like they wouldn't stand outside waiting. Yeah, they would just grab their own No, you door, know what? Right? They would be escorted with an umbrella. What if it's just super windy and cold? Mm. Nothing can help that. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Why did that one guy get it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they have beef. <laughs> Let's not get into it. Good morning, Mr. Winthrop. Good morning. Wow. Elevator doors okay. are so freaking fancy. Look at all that wood. Wait, are these the old guys? From... Good morning, Mr. Duke. I don't know. They have weird names, that's all I remember. Mm. Good morning, Mr. Duke. Duke, Duke morning, and Duke. Duke. Good morning, Mr. Duke. Wow. <laughs> I like to think that they, their family held that title mm. as a duke for so long, they just took it as a last thing. <laughs> I wonder what that um, building is actually used for today. Like, if it's still there. I just cannot believe how stupid these scientists are. I don't care about heredity versus environment. Let's sell now. <laughs> Patience, Mortimer. Oh, it is these two. Mortimer and something else, right? Yeah. That's what I thought, yeah. The... Yeah. So do these guys lose all their money because and then mm. in coming to America, they're they're living on the street. I guess so. Made an extra three hundred and forty-seven thousand. Oh yes, I'm sure a lot of people went belly up on that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Thank you very much. I have no money to give you. They've given this genetics fellow the Nobel Prize. Milk again. Evil people drink milk. <laughs> Bet you thought I'd forgotten your Christmas bonus. Five dollars. <laughs> Half of it is from me. Jesus. <laughs> Looking good, Lewis. Feeling good, Todd. I'll be having dinner with Penelope tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the people just have higher hairlines back in the 80s? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Payroll checks for our employees. We're paying some of our employees an awful lot of money. $50,000? Clarence Beeks. There doesn't seem to be a Clarence Beeks employed with the firm. <clears throat> What? Are they paying themselves? Like they... Mm. How is Penelope? Actually, the wedding invitations go out this week. Good. I'll take care of this one personally. I don't think they need to pay themselves 50 grand. They just made 300 in the morning. <laughs> well, it's definitely something underhanded. Mm hmm. Secret child? Hmm. We're lucky to have him managing our firm for us. With his genes, you can put Winthorpe <laughs> anywhere and he's gonna come out on top. One sentence away from preaching eugenics. <laughs> hey, baby, what's happening? How you doing? We can make it, baby. Me and you! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he's pretending, right? Yeah, he's gotta be. We've had some complaints about con men pretending to be blind. I ain't seen nothing since I stepped on that landmine in Viet Cong back in 72. I was in, um, Sang Bang, Dangong. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he's pretending. Mm-hmm. I was Agent Orange. That was my name, Agent Orange. Agent, Agent Orange? Orange. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Oh. I appreciate that. I can't thank you first. Mother, man. I, can't I don't know what to say. I'll be all right. Take it easy. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Holy shit. That's messed up. Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> Or whatever this character's name is. <laughs> I thought that they were gonna trade places. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. I didn't do nothing, man. This guy bumped into me. I did not. Well done, Winsor. Hey, man, I'm innocent. <laughs> People like this are a menace to decent society. You have a history of juvenile arrests, I presume. Oh God. That man is a product of a poor environment. He's a neat. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. But the other guy, he's gonna, <laughs> you know, do like the My Fair Lady right. stuff. I'll bet that that man could run our company. I suppose you oh, think the music. <laughs> Interesting. I don't think just losing his job would be enough for Winthrop. Oh my god. So they're not just gonna My Fair Lady Eddie Murphy, they're gonna he reverse My job. Fair Lady <laughs> Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he'd take the crime like a fish to water. What's the opposite of Pygmalion? <laughs> We've done it before. This oh my god, these guys are evil. <laughs> We've done it did they, did they start World War One like <laughs> You're so brave, Louis. <laughs> it's either kill. Or be killed. What a douchebag. I would have groveled on the ground and begged for mercy. <laughs> wow, she, uh, I feel like she has whips and chains in her closet. Now. I want you now. <laughs> I think we'll take our drinks uh, in the living room by the fire. Oh. Aw, why would you do that? Just eat it. Yeah. Eh, maybe delicious. diabetic or something. Hello, Mr. Duke, sir. A scientific experiment. It all sounds very uh, original and <laughs> On with it, Jeeves. <laughs> I shall make the necessary arrangements. What a scumbag. <laughs> oh, yes. Amazing. But I'm glad that they actually now yes. made Dan Aykroyd so terrible yeah, for, for a moment. Because oh, now yeah. We want bad things to happen to him. Yeah. You know something, Witherspoon? What? Witherspoon? Reese? We're going to have a great life. Will you be needing me anymore this evening, sir? <laughs> Please say no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have everything I want. <laughs> That poor man. Tell us how you cut him. Yeah, I ain't cut him with no knife, man. <laughs> I am a chain belt kung fu. Bruce Lee was my teacher. Hey, that's uh, what's his face? I can't remember his name. Um, Who? the guy that's leaning against the bars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He looks really familiar. Yeah. That's called the quarter. Oh, that's gonna technique. bug me. Do that. Beat the shit out of ten cops and that's chain <laughs> strategy around. How come I don't see no marks on you, Karate Man? on the inside. He was in Star Wars. Yeah, in Mandalorian. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> what is your bitches, Mr. Big Time Pimp? Yeah. The <laughs> 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 phone in the limo is busted. What are you, ignorant? Do you know where you fucking went? Ah! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you made bail. I did. I didn't think it was going to be like an experiment that some like mm -hmm. old white dudes are <laughs> doing. I thought it was gonna be like a, a wish or something, you know, something magical. Yeah, yeah. Or like, like a well, scourge. I actually thought that maybe like Dan Aykroyd's character wouldn't be like an asshole, and he'd be like want to help him, and then curious about like, like I don't know, mm. like I don't, I just had no idea what this movie. Was. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd just seems such a nice person. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Could you spare us a moment? Whiskey, all you want. Oh. Off. Mm. We're the ones who bailed you out. Don't do it, man. Don't, I wouldn't trust them. Don't get them. into cars with strange old men. <laughs> strange old rich men. Don't do it. Oh, God. They're going to ask you to put things in your mouth. Stop that. To save America. <laughs> oh, my God. Get <laughs> <laughs> America. I remember. <laughs> We'd like to supply you with a home of your own and employment with our company. This is a practical joke, right, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> the driver's jealous. Like, why can't it be me? <laughs> the driver's like, I've seen this before. <laughs> yeah. What about the police and the payroll? You're a free man. I believe I can hang out with you fellas for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Gosh. William, 
Mm. Coleman is here to take care of you. He is your servant. Oh, wow. A jacuzzi, sir. I think you'll enjoy it. Say, man, when I was growing up, we wanted jacuzzi. We had to fart in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would take a rainfall shower over that if I was like rich enough to have a bathroom like that. Oh, not me. Huge tub. My God. Oh. What's he claw doing feet in there? with the claw feet. That's that's the dream, man. Mm. I like the way you got the marriage and stuff hooked up over there. It's very pretty. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is your home. Uh huh. Right. He keeps pocketing things. Look at the curtains. It's beautiful the way I got this place set up, man. This kind of thing happens to me every week. You will only be stealing from yourself. <laughs> and then you go tell me this is my personal so slave, too. So once he gets used to it, is he going to turn into a douchebag like Dan Aykroyd did? Mm. Well, because he wasn't that good to begin with. He was just harassing people and place, like huh? scamming I people. Yeah. I own this base. Ooh. That was a fake, right? We paid $35,000 for it. <laughs> <laughs> right? He comes home to not his home. Excuse me. Oh, shit. We are involved in a very important scientific experiment. Whoa. Look at all those pictures. Of all I'm those just gonna say old good white attention. dudes. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> and good attention to detail that all the servants are African American. <laughs> oh, that's the teacher the, from the Breakfast Club, or the principal. Oh shit! What are they gonna start auctioning people? Ugh. There is something rotten in the Heritage Club. Oh yeah, they're gonna kick him out of the club. Mm-hmm. I'd like to introduce Mr. Beeks of Lindhurst Security. I'd like to ask you gentlemen to all stand up. Place your right hand in the coat pocket of the member to your right. Oh, right, and this whatever guy dumped yeah. something into... We marked three $50 bills with red X's. Those bills were stolen from a coat in the cloakroom. Wait, they're gonna kick you out on the basis of stealing $150? <gasps> Randolph Mortimer, this is outrageous. I'm glad your parents are not alive to see this. That's no good, because I was like, if he gets I'm fired not... and kicked out of his house, he could just go to his parents' house. But they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> you do no care if I were <laughs> well, No, no, I'm just saying, if I were Dan Aykroyd, my argument would be, why would I need to steal three hundred? Oh uh, yeah. Fifty bucks. Yeah. I probably he probably makes millions. Boy, are you two going to be sorry. Take off your clothes. I know my rights. Take off your clothes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One gold watch. Master charge, American Express. One cellophane bag. What? Uh, okay, okay. That's PCP. PCP? Angel dust. Holy shit. <laughs> Not cocaine, just straight to PCP. Oh my god. <laughs> it just... You got a lot of nerves showing your face around here after all this time. Measly. $27 dollars interest. Ugh. It's already affecting him. Yeah, he's already. Champagne for everybody. Courtesy of Billy Ray Valentine. You the motherfucker I was gonna call. Motherfucker? <laughs> Moi? <laughs> yeah. It's one day he and he already has yeah. a horrible attitude and is yeah. Well he wasn't that good to begin with, right? That's all I was saying. He was pretending to be a cripple and like harassing people on the street, like you ladies want to stop by my house for cocktails. I mean I bet he's enjoying this more oh, than yeah. the previous <laughs> employers. He can just get down, have fun. <laughs> oh <laughs> no. Oh my god. Uh, he's starting to get yeah. He didn't even earn it and he's he like <laughs> Wow. I believe some of them have the germs upstairs. Uh banging in his bed. I'm waiting for you, Billy Ray. Oh, oh wow. No, no waiting for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Get the fuck out! <laughs> Be quiet out there, my neighbors asleep. They work too. Big day ahead of you tomorrow. Good night, Coleman. Thanks, man. Good night, sir. He's never been thanked before. <laughs> oh, I'm guessing. Jesus. Probably right, knowing the other people in his life. Mm -hmm. well, that seemed like a pretty fun party. Let's go. Win I've never had one with that much nudity. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll see you later. We'll have lunch. <gasps> oh my God. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. So, yeah. Take okay. The, take the fiance away as well. Mm-hmm. Lewis, you're making a scene, and you smell. Lewis tried to bend me over the sun. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Heroin, Lewis. They're preparing charges against you for embezzlement. It wasn't heroin. It was angel dust. PCP. <laughs> <laughs> I am not an angel dust dealer. I'm hurting, baby. I just need a show. Oh, God. I'll do all the things you like. <gasps> Jesus. I never want to see you again. Is she just down there I doing live? that thing? No. <laughs> I'm going to give you 20 for the cab, and you're going to give me 50 when we get to your house. Hmm. Look, you're hustling me. Hustling you. Yeah. <laughs> Could you please let me in? I'm, I'm having trouble with my key. Who are you? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. That must I, feel so I good. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be making a cash withdrawal. How do they do this? Like, how do they? Like, I assume his accounts are closed. Yeah, but it's his personal account. Why would they? Yeah. Unless they own the bank. The bank Which... owner is probably part of the club. Oh, God. <laughs> The IRS has frozen your account. You're a heroin dealer. May I see your credit cards, please? I've been ordered to repossess them. Wow. I'm just real tired. I'm going home. And she's going to be the prostitute with a heart of gold that helps him <laughs> and teaches him to be nice? Yeah. You help them do this to me! Give me your hand. Soft hands and a manicure. I'm going to regret this, but get in. Yeah, that makes sense, though, looking at the hands, yeah. Oh, totally. But like, is awesome. it really trading places if he gets the help of someone else who's like totally willing to help him now? And but she's not exactly rich, rich, I suppose. No, no, but yeah. You don't want to be late for your first day at work. Sir. Can he do any of the work? <laughs> They're waiting for you in the last office down the hall. Hmm. Wow, he really sticks out. I thought they were gonna do the whole like, "Good morning, Mr. Valentine." Good morning, Mr. Valentine. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Just a whole loaf of bread and one bacon. <laughs> we are here to try to explain to you what it is we do. Oh, oh products. Okay. Commodities are agricultural products, and we buy or sell their gold for them. Duke and Duke get the commissions. Hmm. Middlemen, the biggest leech of society. Man. It's the same guy who tried to rob the payroll. Hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Slaps his butt. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't forget to check out our Patreon for these exclusives. And now back to the movie. You want me to help you out? I expect a lot in return. I'm from a small, miserable little mining town you probably never heard of. I help you get yourself back on your feet and you pay me. We're... Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus, George. <laughs> By 200, May Valley contract is 66.8. All right, but you're gonna get reamed on this one. Price is gonna keep going down. How does he know? Yeah. It's Christmas time. Everybody's uptight. Pork belly prices have been dropping all morning. The people that own the pork belly contracts are going batshit. They're sitting there and they're panicking. They're screaming, sell, sell. I wait till you get to about 64, then I'd buy. Do you realize how much money he just saved us? So how did these two end up on the streets is what I'm really curious yeah. about. Yeah. Okay. More of a doctor's money clip. It was a uh, test. test. It was a yeah. test. Yeah. Nice try, Mortimer. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That yeah. was real. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, I would hang out with the, in the bathroom Jamie Lee any Curtis. Of these characters. Oh. Or Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> like that friend group in the party house. More than this. This is just creepy. <laughs> ah, just f already. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It's mating calls. <laughs> sorry. Just imagine them as birds Spring chirping. Now kiss. <laughs> sorry. Mm. Cut all of that out. <laughs> no, <really. laughs> no, keeping all of it. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you are. I think I'm going to be sick. I'm going to fight this thing till the end. It shows incredibly bad taste for you to come here and embarrass us all. Nobody wants to buy your drugs here. Yeah, the ultra rich doesn't do drugs. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Man that watch is so hot, was smoking. This is the sports watch of the 80s. The only people I like in this movie are, well, the pawn shop guy, <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis, and How the butler. 
Yeah, all the quote unquote lower class, according to this movie. The Russian weed hobby isn't gonna be as bad as everybody thinks. I think you'll need every penny you got just to keep her happy. <laughs> <laughs> Woman, am I right? <laughs> She's sitting awfully close to him. Oh. Well, yeah, she wants some. 103. That's <laughs> it. You're staying in bed. I want Jamie Lee Curtis to take care of me. It's 10 o'clock. Here's Johnny. That's just creepy. <laughs> Can we do it next week? Flowers for me. Sorry, you had to cancel your appointment. Okay, now I really want Jamie Lee Curtis to take care of me. <laughs> I, this, I, I'm just protecting my investment. Nobody likes their investment that much. <laughs> <laughs> I fully thought this movie was going to be like, not a kid's movie, but like a child appropriate comedy. Mm. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Christmas, huh? Oh, did he sneak in as Can't Santa? Yeah. Is it him? I think so. His, look how hairy the forearms are. Oh, no. When you're hungry, you're hungry. Oh, I I, I know, but like, but... <laughs> oh, is he gonna un uncover like the all of the... Mm, give it to somebody who's been pinching Penny their entire life to find the details. Mm-hmm. Of managing money, absolutely. <laughs> Just a whole <laughs> smoked salmon. <laughs> I was wondering about this $10,000 check to Mr. Clarence Beats. Okay, what is the deal yeah. with this? Yeah. Have a drink, will you? Merry Christmas. Where did he get that dirty ass Santa Claus outfit? I don't know. Come in here quickly, I finally caught him. <laughs> <laughs> this man is a drug dealer. Really, I just came in and caught this man planting this stuff in my desk. Put that phone down. <laughs> <laughs> Wait talk, don't leave. We can explain. You'll be sorry. Jesus. <laughs> That's another unintentional bad Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Poor deluded creature. We caught him pilfering it off. He arms. forgot his roast beef. <laughs> I can't believe Winthorpe would fall to pieces like that. He's flat broke. Oh, but he has money to buy drugs, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but was that him turning into the judgy side, or was that him like saying, "I've seen addicts versus people who are genuinely in need"? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Who are just uh, yeah. hungry? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Right, the eighties <laughs> and nineties yeah. and two thousands <laughs> and two thousand tens in the U.S. <laughs> mm. oh, oh, he's gonna overhear their plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke. Oh, that's funny. Ouch. One dollar. <laughs> I don't want Winthorpe back. I would have a n run our family business. Damn. I should be surprised I started what he said earlier, but Jesus. <gasps> oh! Valentine's gonna work together. With Lewis? Yes. To screw these two over. I hope so. And Holy that's shit. That's how they end up on the streets. It must be. Hey, Winthorpe! <laughs> Who are you gonna call Winthorpe? <laughs> Not right now. Who are you gonna call later? Winthorpe. <laughs> hey, yo, Winthorpe! Oh. <laughs> Didn't have to pay? Oh. <laughs> <It> smoked salmon. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Still got beard in it. That's Sec no second movie no. today that we've seen an actor commit to eating something that's just nasty. Oh, I can't handle that with like the hair and. The Is he just peeing himself? Yeah. Oh, buddy. Oh, oh no, no, someone peeing Is on him. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> He's a monster! I'm looking for Louis Winthorpe. Does he live here? Louis, it's him! It's Valentine! Oh. Louis! Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'll let myself out, Coleman. Thank you. Thank you, Doc. Merry Christmas. Is the Bill Butler gonna be on the, in on this as well? Because he oh, hates I hope the, so. the Dukes too. Yeah. Okay, four of them hatch a plan together. Awesome. <sighs> it was a dream. I dreamt the whole thing. <laughs> I was poor and no one liked me. 
I lost my job. <laughs> 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 it was a joke. <laughs> hey, you, this is guinea pigs, man. They made a bet. For how much? A dollar. That's the way they want it? <laughs> you, know, you can't just go around and shoot people in the kneecaps. Do you have any better ideas? The best way you hurt rich people is by turning them into poor people. The crop estimates for next year's orange crop are being delivered. In charge of security is Mr. Clarence Beeks. Ah, right. Dukes are going to corner the entire frozen orange juice market. Hold on. Fuck off. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> we'll rendezvous at 2400 hours. Jesus. Is it New Year's or Halloween? I don't <laughs> know. Do people dress up like that for New Year's? I guess in Philadelphia they do. <laughs> I mean, it looks fun as hell. It, it, it's my turn to drive. Was that supposed to be an actual ape? This morning you drove. I think so. Yep, yeah, it is. <laughs> Beef jerky time. <laughs> Have you guys been drinking? No, sir, not us. I don't understand what's going on with the gorilla in the cage. Yeah, I'm so confused. It's gonna it's something to do with the guy in the gorilla suit later, I would assume. Hmm. <laughs> you know, it gives me the wind something terrible. <laughs> it gives me the wind something terrible. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I am Inga from Sweden. <laughs> but you're wearing lady hosen. Please do help me with my hawk sack. <laughs> oh my god. This All is... that just for this? Open the door, man. <laughs> they forget the secret knock. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, what there's enough spears on the train for me. No, Dan Aykroyd. Wow. <laughs> oh, eighties. You will help me get my rucksack down for the Swedish people. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. He, saw he saw it. it yeah. Winthorpe. All right, I'll get oh, let's go. Okay, so now there's gonna be two gorillas. To in a yeah. Yeah. No more cockamamie cigar smoke, and no more phony Irish whiskey. Okay, so the gorilla is gonna see a fake gorilla, and then. Come on! What do you mean the party's over? Okay. I have no idea where this could possibly go. Okay. Oh. Was that it? That this whole setup is just to get out of this trouble? <laughs> That's outrageous. <laughs> and they're too stupid too and drunk, drunk to notice that there's two gorillas. <laughs> that other one's getting kind of horny, ain't it? Black one must be the female. Okay. I'm uncomfortable. That was a really weird twist. He was a terrible, terrible person. Yeah. But Where is he? Uh, Pigs. Getting jail by gorilla. Don't. It's not exactly. <laughs> did, did, did you get the report? Okay, toss it over. I'm surprised these two billionaires went on this deal by themselves mm -hmm. and didn't have an underling do it. Wonderful news. Wonderful. Okay, so they're so going to they... make the worst deal and then yeah. lose yep, yep, yep. all their money in one deal, in one yes, trade? all of it. Home in a couple hours, you're going to be the richest butler that ever lived, man. Hope you know what you're doing. That whole train sequence was outrageous. That was really weird, yeah. Like, they set up a whole party, a gorilla. So unnecessary. To, All those yeah, characters, the guy. so unnecessary. Yeah. They could have not done the face and the things and the all the all the things. No. I'm also surprised that he didn't recognize her. The Beaks oh. or whatever guy. Well, he did recognize... eventually. No, after he saw the swap, though. 
Because、mm. like he hired her earlier、oh, yeah. at, outside of the police station. The wigs, man. <laughs> Never show any sign of weakness. You sound like crypto、oh, bros. <laughs> yeah, we gotta kill them, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't worry if the price starts going up. Just keep buying. Is everyone gonna follow their Elsa, Harry? move as well, so that he loses a lot of people, a lot of money as well, not just himself? Oh, Jesus! Let's kick some ass. Does trading floors still happen? I don't. No I idea.、Like、it doesn't need to anymore. Probably not like this, because you can just do it in the computer. <laughs> They're trading cotton over there. That's the silver pin. Can't wait to see his face when they broadcast that genuine crop report. One o two people. I have no idea how this works. Like, no, how do you me hear either. What anyone says. I know it's insane. Yeah, viewers, please explain to us how this actually works in the past. The Dukes are trying to corner the market. They know something. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it makes me so uncomfortable. What are they doing here? It's that crop report. <laughs> Eat gads. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, was say. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it would be so easy to miss orders. Is anything actually the happening? They're just writing stuff the down. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Couldn't, couldn't put on your glasses before you went to the podium. <laughs> the cold winter has apparently not affected the orange harvest. Okay. I guess those are the orders made, right? Those are the.、Mm. I, I have no idea. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm I'm kind of in the dark here, <laughs> but their plan worked. <laughs> Hurrah! That's all we care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm so curious how this actually works. Oh man! In the past, I want to know so bad. Like I know that the price is falling to nil from two hundred something.、Mm. Yeah, all these people must be so stressed out, except for Eddie Murphy right now. <laughs> He's just like.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh. Happy New Year! <laughs> the Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put y'all in the poor house at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a dollar. One、yeah. dollar. Nice. <laughs> oh. You know perfectly well we don't have three hundred ninety-four million dollars. Seize all assets of Duke and Duke Commodities Brokers. And that's why they're on the、uh, streets. You know what's crazy though? Okay. Is it like I? We founded this exchange in ours. Like I don't want them to get the cash in in coming to America anymore. But when they were on the streets and coming to America, they seemed like content almost.、Mm. They learned a lesson. Yeah, I forgot all about that guy. <laughs> Just a gorilla、oh、wife now. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> anyway, take a look. They're in love. That is so messed up. No one can tell that it's just rubber and. No. What should we do about lunch? The lobster and crack crab. Lobster and crack crab for everyone. What would you like? One steak or two steak? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Three steak it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I loved everything except the train sequence. <laughs> like that was that was and, really odd. And some f- choice words that people you know. The word choices fit the characters though. Yes. Yeah. We can't yeah. use just like audience perspective to look at it because like it's a rich billionaire <laughs> in their eighties, in the eighties, <laughs> which means that they were probably born in like nineteen ten, nineteen o five, and、Jesus. became billionaires. So it makes sense for their character to speak like that. But the the train sequence was really odd. There was like <laughs> someone else decided to pick up the script and like just I'm gonna put this in here, <laughs> and then it didn't really <laughs> like it was just so outrageous. Like that sequence was also the only part that felt long. It could have just been like three minutes of just snagging the thing, and then that was it. Totally, it did. Yeah, it, I understand why they wanted to. Oh, what was his name? The the principal from the Breakfast Beaks Club. Or Beaks or something like that.、Beaks. Something like that. Like I understand、yeah. why they they wanted horrible things to happen to him. I also wanted horrible、mm-hmm. things to happen to him. But. <laughs> <laughs> There was a lot of ways to take in the documents from him, yeah, yeah, and then cut straight to the trading floors because that was like a, like a great exciting ending. It was just that yeah that second act, the end of the second act was was a、yeah. lull. 
there um, for a bit. Kudos to Dan Aykroyd for playing such an asshole at the beginning there. He made that work. That <laughs> He did it he, well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, you know what it also is, though? It's, it, it felt pretty, pretty real. <laughs> Like we've seen videos no. on 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 the internet over the last couple of years of people doing that. A poor person is attacking me. Jesus. It yeah. felt really, yeah. That's that's. I think that's part of it too. Uh, yeah, um, I think that's why it was so infuriating because it's like. Yep, mm -hmm. there's people like that. Uh, right. Yeah, that wraps up this episode of Cinevenge. Thank you, everybody, for watching movies. Okay, we'd well, like to thank our patrons for helping us yes. keep doing this. And shout out to uh, Walter Frontier 84, Bella Halonen, Natalia Foster, Simplexity, Shane Driscoll, Scott Wassimer, Samuel Black, Really Toxic Pekka, Suspicious Uga, Nick mm -hmm. R, uh, Nathan Gasper, My Shark 419, Michael Ritter, Matt Reese, uh, Lorny23, Logan Nelson, Lenora, Fel Cal Fenrog, Josiah, Mick Close, uh, Joshua White, Joel Swan, Jojo Reese, Joe Swenson. Yip Van D. Oh, thank you for that. Jelly Licious, Jay Davis, James Lee, Jacob Arger78, and Jay, thank you all very much. Thanks, everybody. You're awesome. Bye.